Hi there, uh, my name is Nick. Uh, what I'm gonna do for you today is I'm gonna show you a little Excel trick that I use sometimes when I'm doing uh, work with data. Uh, now I know what you're thinking. Uh, how is it possible that you are actually using Excel for your data work on a serious level? And well, no, I'm not really using Excel. I, I use Stata most of the time or R or MATLAB or whatever. Um, but sometimes Excel has a couple useful tricks uh, that are I, I will use when I am putting together the data that I will then analyze in those programs. Uh, so what I have here today is a set of Census 2000 codes and Census 1990 codes, and I want to be able to, uh, I have some data which has the Census 2000 codes, and I want to convert them into the 1990 codes. Uh, and uh, uh, Excel is going to help us out here because uh, what it's going to help us do is uh, work with this rather, you know, oddly formatted data. You know, probably I could uh, write some sort of for loop or if statement to read this data in and then do the conversion uh, in, a, in a more, uh, maybe proper way, but uh, sometimes that's worthwhile. I might do that sometimes, but sometimes it's just uh, gonna take more time than it's really worth. So the actual approach that is being taken here is that we are going to be writing code with Excel. We're gonna be writing one line of code per row of Excel, and each line of code is gonna basically be an if statement that's going to uh, read in the 2000 code and turn it into the 1990 code for us. This is a good way, the way that I'm doing this here is going to be useful for converting, uh, but of course you can use the same approach whenever you're trying to read in data on a one-by-one -one basis. We're basically gonna end up with a huge block of code that we're gonna copy into, I'm gonna use uh, Stata today, but this of course would work for any sort of uh, statistical package. So what I wanna do is I wanna basically write a line of code that looks like this. I want to uh, take uh, the 2000 code, and I want to convert it into the 1990 code using this population number. So I want to do replace uh, awk, and I'm going to put, I have a vari one variable for each 1990 code that I'm going to fill in with this population data. So let's say I'm doing 005. I'm going to set that equal to the population number. Let's say it's not 123,000. If uh, yemp awk code, that's the name of my 2000 uh, coded census occupation in my data. If that's equal to some 2000 code, let's pick 15. Why not? So I want to write a bunch of lines of code that look like that. So the first thing I need to make sure is I need to make sure that all of my data is that I need to write this code is going to be present on every line of Excel. So these 1990 occupations, of course, there's a lot of blanks here, so I need to fill in these blanks. I'm going to do that using a if blank or, uh, is blank statement with an if. So I'm going to use this uh, regular old Excel if, easy enough to use if you've never done it before, standard if structure essentially, uh, where I'm going to test uh, using is blank, and this will check whether or not this operation over here is blank. Now, if it is, I want to uh, just sort of pull down the value that I have above. Uh, and if it's not, I want to copy in that new non-blank value. All right, so you can see that that's 03. If I pull it down, I will also get 03, right, because it checks, notices that this is blank, and then it will look above to see what it is. And so I'll pull that down. You can see it continue to fill in uh, from what's above, and then I'm going to pull that all the way down until we have everything that we need on every single line. And there we go. All right. Okay, what we're actually gonna be doing next is we are going to be writing those lines of code that we are then going to copy into Stata. So uh, we are going to first check and make sure that we actually want to write a line of code where you're gonna use a similar uh, if is blank approach here. So first I'm going to check uh, whether or not there's actually a 2000 code that we want to turn into the 1990 code. Right here you can see on this line there's actually no code there, right? That's the nice thing about this approach is that it deals with these sorts of blanks very well. Think about all the hat sorts of editing you'd have to do to get this structure of data into something you could actually work with with a for loop. You don't have to worry about that here. Uh, so if it's blank, I want you to give me back nothing, give me no code to copy in. Uh, and if it's not blank, I want to actually write that line that I have above. And I'm going to do that using the concatenate uh, function in Excel. This is pretty simple. Uh, if you've used any sort of concatenation function in any sort of uh, programming language before, this is very similar. I'm just going to list a bunch of strings and a bunch of cells, and it's going to put it all together into one long string that's going to basically make up the code that I'm going to copy into Stata. So I want to write that line above. So I'm going to say replace awk underscore. I'm going to fill in that 1990 code with the 1990 code on this line. Uh, and I'm going to set that equal to the population value that I want to fill in, which I'm going to use then to, you know, adjust all the conversion properly later. And I'm going to do that if yemp awk code, remember that is the 2000 coded occupation variable, 
if that is equal to uh, the 2000 code that's on this line. I'm gonna close those parentheses, I'm gonna hit enter, and of course it's blank because there's nothing there. I want it to be blank. But if I drag this down one, you can see it writing a line exactly how I want it to be. So then I'm going to just drag this all the way down once again. And once I'm done doing this dragging, uh, you can see that we are going to have this big block of code that can be very easily copied into Stata. Uh, now you'll notice that there are of course these blanks where we did all the is blank stuff. If that annoys you, uh, there's an easy way to get rid of that. And this is another nice Excel trick that uh, has some other applications as well. Uh, all you gotta do is you got to copy this into a new sheet. Uh, of course, make remember to paste those values. Once you've done that, you notice you've got the whole thing selected. What you have to do is you have to do control F to do find. You're gonna find a blank. You're just gonna do find all on nothing. It will find all the blanks. Control A to then select all the blanks. And then I can right click and delete. And then that will get rid of all those blanks. I will just have one solid block of code. Bit of a mess, little ugly, but if you're okay with that, this is sometimes going to save you a lot of time over trying to wrangle uh, a way to do it in maybe in a prettier way. I uh, hope that you find this helpful. Thank you very much.